This is Jack, and today we're going to talk about templates for just a few minutes. We're in the Server Manager console right now, and over on the left-hand side of the screen, we're going to see our tree structure here. If I expand out Templates node, we're going to see the different templates that we've already got configured within our own instance of Server Manager. The product ships with uh, several different sample templates already configured, but then we can also configure our own if we choose to do so. A template is a definition of not only what we want to monitor, but how often we want to monitor it, as well as what we want to do if that monitor triggers. So I'm going to show you an example of how we're going to create a template and then how we're going to assign it to a host. Now a host could be a computer or a network switch or a router, uh, anything that you want to assign that template to monitor. In this case, we're going to monitor Active Directory on a domain controller and just verify that Active Directory is up and running. We don't already have a template for that, so we're going to create a new one. I'm going to right-click on the Templates node. I'm going to select New Template. And now we're presented with a list of all of the different types of templates that we can monitor with Server Manager. Before we select the one that we want, I'll just show you here very quickly some of the different ones that we have available within the product. We have event log management, syslog management, we can even monitor the contents of text log files, disk management, directory management, and so forth. But what we're going to do today is just monitor that active directory is up and running. And the one I'm looking for I'm going to find under miscellaneous. And it's going to be the active directory monitor template. Note here that if you single click on any of these types of templates, it'll give you a brief description on the right hand side of what that template is used for. In this case, it's going to verify that Active Directory is up and running. This is the one I want, so I'll simply select that. And now we're going to be presented with a wizard to create our new template. On the General tab, we have a name of our template and the description. These are filled in uh, by default. We can change these if we want to. For example, if we're monitoring multiple domains, we might want to name the template based on the domain that we're going to be monitoring. But in this case, the defaults are acceptable for us. The template's going to be enabled by default. And the execution frequency for this particular template is set to every five minutes. If I select the arrow next to that, you can see here that we have several different schedules built into the product. Now the difference between fixed and ranges uh, is that a fixed schedule, we might say we want to monitor this template once an hour at five minutes after the hour. So we can say specifically when we want that template to execute. With the range scheduling, we can say, for example, that we want the template to monitor every one hour or every two hours or every day. And what's nice about this is rather than having them execute on a particular schedule to the minute, not uh, all the different monitors are executing at the same time. It's very nice, but in this case, every five minutes is going to work for us. We can also create our own schedules. We have a schedule node in the tree on the left-hand side of the screen, or if we want to create a schedule on the fly, we can do that just by selecting this button right here. I'm happy with the schedule that I have, so I'm going to leave it at every five minutes. We can also specify a failure rate if we'd like to. After so many failures occur within a certain period of time, it will be considered to be in a failed state. On the Monitor tab, this is where we're going to specify the LDAP path that we want to check to verify that Active Directory is up and running. In this case, it's already filled in with the appropriate information. The detail on the Monitoring tab will be specific to the type of template you selected. Going over to the Actions tab, this is where we specify what actions we want to take when the monitor triggers a failure. We can also specify additional actions once the monitor recovers. Selecting the arrow allows us to select a previously defined action. We can also create a brand new action at this point if we want to. Or we can go over to the actions node on the left hand side of the screen in the tree and create actions ahead of time. For our purposes we're just going to select a previously defined action that will display a message box on the desktop. Just something simple for this demonstration. We could also have additional actions uh, occur whenever the, whenever the 
We could also have additional actions occur when the monitor recovers. So for example, if we were sending an email when the monitor triggers, we might want to send another email to notify somebody when the monitor recovers. We could do that as well. On the left hand or on, on the right hand side of this dialog box, we can assign our uh, template on the right hand side of this dialog box we could go ahead and assign our template to a host or a host group or a template group if we want to right now. On the right hand side of this dialog we could assign our template to a host or a host group or a template group right now if we want to. In this case we don't want to so we're just going to select OK and we've now defined our template. We can see that under the templates note on the left hand side of the screen now. If we expand that out we'll also see anywhere we have that template assigned. In this case we don't have it assigned yet. That's the next thing that we want to do. So the way we'll do that is we'll right click on our template and we'll select assign computer device or host. And now we can select the host or computer that we want to assign this template to. So I'm going to expand through my tree here and find my domain controller. I'm going to select it, then click OK. Now we can see here that it's assigned to that template. We could also find our computer up here in the tree and see that that template is assigned to it. So here's our server. Here's our template. If we want to test it to make sure that it works, I'm just going to right click it and select Explore. This kind of brings the template into an interactive mode where we can see in real time all of the tests that it performs. I don't want to wait a few minutes for this to happen the first time. I want to make sure that it works appropriately. So I'm going to select Execute Now, dismiss the dialog, and we can see here that at 948 it's successfully connected to Active Directory. We can also see the next time that this particular template is going to execute, seeing here that it's five minutes later. And that's how templates are created and assigned in Server Manager.